hi, this is Red Organic, and I'm going to talk about a thousand decibels, and, and if you've heard that somebody said that you could have a, a one thousand decibel noise, they are wrong, and I'm going to show you why. This is because decibels are calculated logarithmically, which means, it's this, which means that it is ex because it's exponentially harder to go up because exponential is the inverse of logarithmic. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to sh is I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you um I saw this video that said a thousand decibel ear rate that that is not a thousand decibels. Nowhere even close. It's probably like 130, 135 decibels. The reason that we even use decibels is because is because we need a unit that we need a really wide scale because noises can vary by hundreds of millions of times. So we need something that is measured in orders of magnitude, not actual linear scale. So, let's go on to the first card, which is right, which is right here. So, a thousand decibels. You may have heard the number Google. Uh, a Google is actually the same thing as a thousand decibels. So, what we are going to do is we are going to move on to explaining why this is. It, let's start out simple. Um, if we add one decibel, for every time we add one decibel, we are increasing the volume by 26%. So it's, so it's exponentially more increased as we go up, as we change from two decibels to three decibels. Three decibels is actually close to multiplying by two. Us, but that's not what we're working on. Let's and multiplying by by and increasing ten decibels is exactly is multiplying by exactly ten because it's a logarithmic scale based on orders of magnitude. Now let's get big at adding a hundred decibels increases the volume by ten billion times, so it's ten zeros. So so. If we add another zero to this, that's, if we add zeros to the number of decibels, that is double exponential, which is, uh, which means that, that the logarithms vary exponentially, which means that we have, uh, which means there's an extreme variation going on. I don't know if any double logarithmic scales or anything that needs it. So what we're gonna do is let's say, let's do, do a, 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 a thousand decimals is, is ten of these stacked onto each other. So ten billion times 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 ten billion. Whatever, it's ten billion we multiply that number by itself 10 times, 10 billion to the power of 10, or 10 to the 100th power. So let's move on to from this. Uh, so let's focus on um, what, would, what would happen if there was a thousand decibels. This is 10 billion times louder, so we are going to have to adjust for that. 1,100 decibels is commonly stated out as, how, as how, loud enough to destroy the universe. So, this is because if that noise existed for just a tenth of one second, it would, um, it would be, um, um, it would create a black hole 70 billion light years. So what we're going to do now is 14 billion light years. 
times five. So over ten to the power of ten because we're subtracting a hundred decibels. So a galaxy is two to three times ten to the fifth power of light years. So now we're going to move on and divide that number by ten billion. So this is what we get to seven. I forgot because it's like seven point seventy five billion. Something like, like that because it's like 14.5, 14 14.6 billion light years. So the battery is running low, so we gotta do this quick. So it's a black hole for every 10 seconds. We have 7.5 light years of a radius increase, which is an exponential increase in size. I mean, area. So 7.5, which is 1 tenth of a second, to 75, which is 1. Second, for every second, the black hole grows 75 light years in 58 minutes. A thousand decibels would make a black hole as large as a galaxy, which is pretty amazing. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to define a galaxy right here and show the equation that I used. A galaxy is 250,000 light years wide. So, approximately 3,038 3 seconds, which is 58 minutes. So, the this is the equation for it. Uh, so, now what we're going to do is, what about go? What about cranking it up 25 notches? Let's try a thousand and twenty-five decimals to see what comes up. The inverse of logarithmic is exponential, so so plus twenty-five decimals is always multiplying the number by three hundred and sixteen. So seventy-five times thirty-six equals three. 33,700. If we divide 23,000, actually, if we divide that number by, if we divide that number by 250,000, 250,000 divided by that number, we will get, we will get 10 seconds. That's pretty hard to believe. Can you see that? This this is uh this is what happens if you this is what happens if you have a Google of something because 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 this right here is another way to say a Google and plus three equals times two so a thousand and three decimals is two Google a thousand and six is four a thousand and ten is ten and so on so. So whatever, you, so, so, so do not. So if you have a real one thousand decimal thing, do not even think of turning it on. That's good luck for this show. Bye.